Welcome folks, this is Wear and Tear, yet another YouTube Outdoor and Gear Review channel. Today I want to show you a special knife, special for two reasons. For one, it was a gift by my friend Stefan from the YouTube channel, A Little Older. He sent me a very big, very generous gift box full with knives and other outdoor supplies. So I'm very thankful to Stefan for this box. And one of those knives that he gave me was the Hans Blazer. Look at this big beauty. A beautiful folding knife. Outstanding. Now the Hans Blazer is a budget knife. It costs about $20 in China. Sold for about 30 to 40 euros here in Europe. And as such, it of course competes with other big budget knives. And one of the well-known budget knives in a hard use domain is the Ganso F720. Now I've tested the Ganso before on my channel and I have discovered a particular weak spot as some of these Ganso knives, Ganso knives come with an access lock. And the access lock seems to be a safe lock, very safe. But some of those knives seem to have an access lock that is not quite stable and can so the knife can actually collapse on you as I found out. I also found a way to fix this problem, but nevertheless it is something that could happen with your Ganso as well. Now the Hans Blazer is a different kind of beast. It is it has a liner lock. And on top of the liner lock, it has something that I would call like beast mode. So if you need to have the knife in a, in a condition where it is 100% safe and will never collapse on you, then you would engage an additional lock right here. And this lock actually makes sure that you cannot accidentally disengage the liner lock. So you have this little bar right here. This little bar, now it's engaged. And I cannot close the knife. First, have to disengage this bar, and only then I can disengage the liner lock and make the knife collapse. So that's a very unique feature, like a beast mode. If you really need the knife to be very safe and very much ready for hard use. Now, when it comes to size comparison, the Hans Blazer is quite a bit bigger than the Ganso 720. It is also a little bit heavier. And of course, as you can see, the Harns is a stabby type of knife. Uh, that would have advantages if you plan to hunt something or if you plan to drill a hole with it. But of course, it makes it also a little bit more dangerous in case you tend to hurt yourself. So when it comes to ergonomics, well, as you see, the Hearns Blazer has a very big handle. The Ganso 720 has a smaller handle. I have, uh, I wear large gloves, and for me, the Ganso 720 has awesome ergonomics. It just fits my hand perfectly. Uh, also, with the with the texture, the surface is very much non-slippery. There are no real hot spots on the Ganso 720, as, as, besides the clip, of course. Now the Harns is a little bit different in this regard. With hands of my size, with my palms, this knife, you can really handle a knife very well. It's, it fits well in, in your hands if you wear large gloves, but even if you wear bigger gloves and have bigger hands, uh, you will find this knife very comfortable to hold, easy to hold. However, if you have smaller hands, like uh, some famous person in office in the States, then this might be a knife that is much too big for you. You should look for a smaller knife then. However, this knife in terms of ergonomics has one big disadvantage. You can see it right here, the clip. Oh my gosh, this clip is in the way. It is a hot spot. It will hurt you, probably even if you have gloves on, if you continuously use that knife. Now this is the bad news. The good news is, there's really no reason why you should leave the clip on the knife. You can easily get rid of this clip. Now this knife is so big, I doubt you really need the clip to keep it in position so that you're able to quickly deploy the knife. Because you know what? 
there is no quickly deploying the deploying the Hans blazer. It's like ugh. now it's deployed. So it's definitely not a knife that you quickly just flip out. I mean, you need considerable strength out of your wrist in order to engage the knife quickly, and then it is very loud and. I don't know, it, it just doesn't feel very elegant. Uh, with the Cancel 720, it's much easier, much smoother like this. You open the knife, see, disengage it, open it smoothly. That is nice. With the Harns Blazer, it's like, it's a little bit of work. But then, of course, you have a bigger knife at your disposal. So, the good news about the Harns Blazer is, as well, that you get an awesome pouch with it. Here is the belt pouch. Look at this outstanding quality. So, Velcro and, and a um, little clip thingy. And also an uh, inside loop, so two different loops. I would say this is Molly compatible, didn't yet try it out, but I'm pretty sure it is. So with this it is Molly compatible. Has an additional loop right here for additional safety. And well, it travels in and out wonderfully, no problem. I've tried that numerous times. So that's an additional reason why you won't need the clip, really. So if you plan on working a lot with this knife, remove the clip, it's much more comfortable. I mean, the clip would almost allow for uh, deep pocket carry, but of course, then you would need big pockets. It's, it's, an, it's not an elegant knife anyways. It's a knife for the dawn of civilization after some kind of breakout or just being stuck in the wilderness after coming down with an airplane. So this is the type of knife. It's a beauty, I, I like it. So we'll test it out. We'll work now a little bit with this knife. And yeah, there is another question that I'd like to discuss briefly. Because if you look at the Harns Blazer, it's a big knife. It directly competes against, uh, well, fixed blade knives like the Gerber Stronghold which is my primary outdoor knife and which is a awesome, awesome blade. Now, why would you take such a knife to the outdoors if you can take such a knife to the outdoors? Considering the two have almost identical weight, almost an identical size. Now, that's a question that I ask myself. So why would I pack the Harns Blazer if I can I can pack the, the Gerber Stromom. Well, that really depends on the situation you're in. For example, if you travel more through an urban area, this knife is easier to pack away, so you don't cause fear and panic in that urban area. And on the other hand, um, if you go on a travel, like travel to some other country, uh, if you fear to lose a more expensive knife at some kind of security checkpoint, like happened to me numerous times checking in on an airport accidentally had a knife on me or uh, trying to get uh, onto a cruise ship accidentally I had a knife on me it was a Berg, Berg Rills knife then it's better to lose a knife for 20 or 30 bucks than to lose a, a strong arm which costs you at least here in Europe in the setup that I have it um, about 80 90 euros so on travel to somewhere where I don't know whether I go hiking or not, whether I do outdoor expedition, I would pack such a knife because with this I still have a very substantial and I'm sure very capable knife. But also if I lose it, if it gets lost at some kind of security checkpoint or if there's some crazy local loss, then I'd rather lose this knife than of course a, a Gerber strong arm. Also it's much easier to just pack away, store it away safely. So, now let's do some testing of those knives. Uh, let's compare the Horns Blazer to at least, I'd say, the Ganso F720. Let's start first by doing some feather sticks. 
Lock engaged. And I can pr pretty much razor sharp out of the box. Definitely easy to create some fire stars with this knife. Get a lot of force applied. Let's look. So, did this in a few seconds with my Harns Blazer. Let's see if we can do something similar with the Ganso. Yeah, Ganso F720. Why couldn't they give it a cool name like Blazer? I don't know. Guess numbers shall suffice. Okay, let's start. Yeah. This one does well at the shavings too. And it's also very sharp, pretty much razor sharp since I sharpened it last time. But it's somehow a little bit more difficult to get the same amount of force applied. Yeah, felt easier with the Harns knife. So let me show you. Okay, this is, again, this is the Harns knife. And this is the result of the, of the Ganso knife. So a little bit less, a little bit more difficult with the Ganso. And actually I felt like I have more hot spots with the Ganso knife than with the Harns knife. This is pretty interesting. Didn't expect that. Let me work now on a pointed tip. And the Harns knife feels very substantial, very productive, making good progress. Chewing through this rather hard type of wood without a problem. So you're gonna get your pointed tip in no time. And you can build a trap with it or you can just poke your eye out. Yeah, nice and pointy. So let's do the same thing with the Ganso knife. Too late. That's already pointy from the start, but of course that doesn't count. I just look at the overall performance. It's not a scientific testing. Uh, I just have to trust my, my feelings on how the knife cuts and your own observations. So, didn't want to bring my stopwatch. Yeah, it's just not quite as easy with the Ganso. The Ganso being a substantial knife as well, but the horn's just doing a bit better. Let me go back to the horns. The ergonomics on the horns is not is better than I expected from initially feeling it. You know, it feels very, you know, it feels very square, not very soft and, and rounded. 
Although, I um, mean, the workmanship on it is good. So this is not like something that is wrong with the, with the finish. The fit and finish is very good. But you think you have more like a, a square box in your hand. But then you, when you actually start working with it, except this hotspot, it's not bad at all. So the ergonomics on the horns are way better than than the looks would give away or than maybe even the initial impression would suggest. So this knife definitely has good ergonomics and good cutting power. So it's definitely an alternative to, to a fixed blade knife. Not a better alternative, but if you have to go with a folder, you might go as well with the Harns knife. It's substantially more powerful than the Ganso, also for the price. It comes with a very good belt pouch or, or even, uh, um, you know, uh, what's the name of that? Yeah, uh, you know, that Molly, right? Molly. It's hot today, we have a heat wave. So it's uh, even is Molly compatible. That's not bad. And the Ganso comes naked. All you get is, is a knife and, and one of those uh, satin pouch, pouches that you actually, they're just pretty but also pretty useless outdoors. And the Harns comes with this wonderful pouch, Molly compatible and everything. So you probably get a little bit more knife with the Harns. Also the quality, oh the steel, yeah it says uh, 9CR18MOV. Whatever that means, I guess it's a very good stainless steel or probably budget, it is budget knife steel, what else? But it is good stainless steel like on all of these Chinese knives. Never let me down, there was never uh, a hiccup with any of those plates. I'm, I'm very happy. So I don't think the, the Harns Blazer will do worse than for example the Gatso or other Chinese knives in that price range. So thank you very much Stefan from the channel a little older for this amazing beautiful blade. Uh, it really is a joy to work with that. Thank you for this great folder. Make folders great again. Go for the Harn Blazer. Thank you so much. This was wear and tear over now.